I don't want to be the generation that is named the killers of the planet. I want it to be the helpers of the planet, the person that like fixed it, the person that like the ozone layer is since we're shooting up rockets to go find stuff it's breaking it and we're getting global warming we're getting radiation it's really bad plus our phones are also giving off radiation so it's just it's going to our demise we're we're building our way up to death it's great really it's not that good actually it's horrible last year in canada it was really snowy and like like happy and everybody was making snow angels and we were building a snowman with kids from our neighborhood and stuff like that. We were having snowball fights. And everybody was together for Christmas because we probably got all snowed in. But this year, there's no snow at all, and it's just it's horrible. Christmas and it was 15 degrees. I mean, it was a little odd to be wearing summer dresses to Christmas dinner. I'm not so much afraid as slightly concerned. Uh, it was just really weird. It's odd to think that my generation is going to have to see all this happening. I mean, I remember growing up and Christmas was always white and this year it was not. <laughs> it was weird to see Christmas trees that were like not covered in snow, so I'm a tad worried. <laughs> I think it's, it's terrible, we're having, uh, our winters are obviously all messed up now, we don't have any, uh, we're never sure what the temperature is going to be, it's either too hot or it's too cold, it's terrible. I'm hoping that people are going to become more aware of the problems of global warming and maybe our ne the next generation will actually be able to st at least stop damaging the planet. I don't know if they can prevent what's happened already, maybe they can fix some things.
I think water is going to become the new gold. It's going to become much more precious. And since there's so much salt water and there's so limited fresh water, now that our Arctic glaciers are melting, those are all fresh water, they're being diluted by salt water. So I think countries that don't have access to fresh water, good point before people from those countries are going to start coming here and I think we're going to end up in a real lack of water crisis and that's going to impact many people in many countries. to grow food because of drought. Um, due to drought, food is going to become scarcer and therefore more expensive, making it less affordable for most people. If we don't take action, I think my generation is going to experience mass poverty due to this issue.
the solutions that has been discussed is putting caps on CO2 levels that a country is allowed to emit and taxing countries that emit large quantities of it. However, many of these agreements are non-binding agreements because not all countries sign on to them. So they become more like helpful suggestions rather than agreements.